So, you know, when you're watching dog training videos and they talk about how important it is that you keep yourself calm or cool or collected, whatever, because your dog will reflect that. That's true, but it's true on multiple levels. There's the unconscious way that your dog reflects it. And there's the conscious way your dog reflects it. And it's not really so much they reflect it as they are reacting to it. So today I'm going to talk about the unconscious way they react to it. There's some things that are, are a little more obvious than others. For instance, if you have your dog on a leash and your dog is pulling so they can go sniff, that means that they're already fighting against whatever is holding them back. They don't stop and think, oh, that's my parent holding me back. They just go, I'm stuck in something. So if I pull harder, maybe I can get a little farther. or Maybe I can break loose. This activates their muscles. They have to tense up in order to pull, which also makes their heart pound a little harder so, to feed the muscles. At this point, they're tense, their heart's pounding. If now they see something alarming, whether that is a monster or a dog or a car or whatever your dog finds alarming, they're now gonna go, oh, I must feel this way because of what I'm looking at. They don't stop and realize that it's because of whatever you're doing behind them. So you have just affected your dog. They're far more likely now to react either frantically or aggressively or excitedly, something else that would make their heart pound and their muscles tighten up. It also happens a little more subtly than that though. If you walk into a room where somebody has just had an argument, you know somebody's just had an argument, there's a tension in the room. Dogs do the same thing, but to a much higher level. They walk into a room where there's been an argument and they can smell the chemical change in our brain. They can see the way our body language is shifting and tense. We get tense when we are negative, just like they get tense when they are negative. So if we're carrying any tension, they're gonna register that. They may not register any of this on a conscious level, just like we don't register it on a conscious level when we walk in. It's all like, oh, subconscious, something is wrong. Now, dogs might react differently in this moment. Most dogs are themselves going to get a little tense and on edge. Some dogs, like young dogs especially, will go, oh, maybe I can make it better by, by getting everybody to play. And then everybody gets annoyed with the young dog because nobody's in the mood to play. Um, the thing that you want to remember is that, yes, whatever you're doing is going to reflect your dog. There's another subconscious way that it, it reflects your dog or that your dog reflects your uh, <laughs> that it reflects what you're feeling, too, in fact. One is this idea that dogs have good people sense, and if they don't like somebody, you shouldn't like somebody. But that's actually backwards. Dogs have lousy people sense. They react to people depending on how we react to people and their past history with people, but largely how we react to people. So if somebody walks up to me and I subconsciously tense up a little bit, my dog is going to note the chemical change in my brain because they can smell that and the tension. They can also hear your heart rate. So my dog's going to know that my heart just picked up a little bit and they're going to respond. Often they've noted all these things subconsciously. They're going to respond by thinking this person, there's something wrong with this person, not you, but the person you're looking at. Therefore, I'd better deal with it. And we get a growl. We say, ah, our dog doesn't like that person. Therefore, we shouldn't like that person. But actually, it worked the other way around. The other thing that dogs do, I just mentioned, they can hear your heart rate. How crazy is that? So if your heart's pounding really fast, your dog's heart pounds really fast. This might mean that you guys get ready to play, or it might mean you're getting ready to run, or it might mean you're all both really pissed off. <laughs> Who knows? But your dog will match that. These are ways that your mood reflect in your dog and ways that you can help your dog's mood shift. If I need to calm dog down, I can take a deep breath, calm myself down first, and then I'm gonna go work with the dog. Have fun. <laughs>